hello friends today I'm going to show you how to use navigation controller into your project using storyboard and I'm also going to show you how to pass data from one class to the another class using storyboard so let's create a new project create a new Xcode project single view application next create select the storyboard this is your initial view controller we are going to add navigation controller here select the view controller select editor embedded in navigation controller so the navigation controller is added here so run the project once so you can see that navigation bar is visible here now we are going to set a title for our navigation bar inside view did load run it again here it is so now here we are going to select a button pressing which we are going to see a new page so let's create another objective C class new file cocoa touch objective C class next name it second view controller we don't need xiv we are using storyboard so i'm not going to check this box create so your next view controller is added here storyboard take another view controller set the class name here here second view controller connect this to view controller with seg right click on the view controller select manual from here select push select the seg set an identifier copy this identifier name so we are going to add a button here Add the button 
on your first view controller right click on the button select touch up inside connect inside this method write self perform seek with identifier put the exact identifier name that you set in your storyboard set a navigation bar title for your next view run it again This is your first view. Press the button. This is the next view. So the navigation is working. Now we are going to send some data from first view to the next view. declare a property in your second view controller print the value of data st string variable into your class You can also show the data on a level. Right click on the level, create a reference outlet of your level set the text on your first view controller 
add a text field right click on it create a reference outlet of your text field So here we are going to put some text inside the text field and we are going to send that data to the next class for which This method will sync the data to the other class. put the identifier here you need to import that second view controller in your first view controller Set the data string value here. So let's run it again. There is some problem.
so here we are going to input some text and send see the data came here So here we can see that data are passing to the next view controller using prepare for save method. So that's all. If you liked this video, please press thumbs up and you can also subscribe me to get the other tutorial in a regular basis. Thank you for watching.